we've made a simple PHP interface to add new data to the database and in this lesson we'll make a similar one to delete data. We'll do the HTML interface together and then I want you to adapt what we did in the previous lesson to write the code to delete data instead of inserting it. Most of the code is identical to that used in the previous lesson so we'll modify the two scripts we just wrote. In PHP demos, copy display and insert.php, paste the copy back into the same folder, and rename it display and delete.php. Do the same for insert.php, naming the copy delete.php. Open both up in Komodo Edit and switch to display and delete.php. To delete data, we need to be able to select each record individually so we need another column in the table. Inside the table header, add a fourth column inside th tags and put the title delete in between them. And then inside the loop, add in the line to assign the value of the field named ID to the variable $ID. There's no need to use HTML entities for this because we know this field will always contain an integer and it cannot have any problematic characters in it. Matching the delete column in the table header, add a fourth column in the table body with the text delete inside it. Surround the word delete with an ahref tag pointing to delete.php. Clicking on this will redirect the browser to delete.php and we'll tell delete.php which record to delete by passing the ID number of the record in the URL. Using question mark, ID equals and then the ID number, using PHP to echo the current value of the variable $ID. It may be easiest to get the syntax right to temporarily put in any number in this URL. I'll put 1 here and then I'll type over it with the PHP echo command. We no longer need the second table, that was for inserting data, so delete everything after the closing table tag. That's it for this file. Now switch to delete.php. Using your knowledge of SQL, adapt this file to use the ID passed in the URL and delete the matching record in the database. If you get stuck, the answer is in the working files for this chapter. Here's my version from the working files, and if we load it up in the browser, we can see it in action. And as I click on the various delete links, you will see that the data is successfully deleted from the database. That concludes this chapter on building simple PHP interfaces for MySQL queries. In the next chapter, we'll go back to our project files and put our knowledge of PHP and MySQL into practice, turning our present static HTML framework into a dynamic site, which takes its information from the database and at the same time allows the user to alter that information through the browser.